We have taught these alligators things like their names. We have taught them a few basic commands. We have taught them things like do not fear us. They're still learning. This guy here, T-Bone. T-Bone. Okay. This is T-Bone. Down there you have Tommy and Max. I'll try calling this one here in a moment. T-Bone. So notice he seems to be responding, and that is because he is. And I'll get more into that in just a moment. I touch the animal. He closes his eyes. He becomes a little bit nervous. He starts to back off. So I back off and I feed him. That's a reward for not running away. Eventually, he'll start to learn. Oh, yeah, you can bite. Do not kid yourself, guys. An alligator this size is dangerous. If this animal got my hand, my arm, or my face at this size, he will do damage. Very strong. Tommy. Come. Come on. Tommy. Come on. They're very fast when they want to be. However, he's running in very slow, fairly cautious. They have no real regard for personal space. They'll climb over each other. They really don't care. Step on each other. Okay. Notice the animal did approach me when I started calling it. Okay. Give him his reward. Keep on. The brain is right there. It's about this big. The ears are on either side. Very good senses, better than a dog. You'll notice the eyes, they can sink down into the head and assume that they do not lose them in a fight. They fight over the same things we do, dirt girls and food. On either side of the neck, you've got your two primary jaw muscles. It's where your power comes from. If anybody here has ever seen the trick where the guy reaches into the mouth, pulls it out real fast, there's only one way to do it. Keep on. Keep on. You want some more? You want a snack? Now what he's doing right now is he's associating all that touching on his tail with me, so he's kind of getting nervous. Keep on. You want some more? I'm going to try to get him to re-engage me so I can show you how this mouth works. Let's see if I can come over here. T-Bone, do you want some more? Do you want a snack? T-Bone, that's better. <laughs> it takes him a second. He's trying to figure out whether or not he wants to pay attention to me. So if you've ever seen that trick, there's one way to do it. You'll never see it done from the side. He can see this. The guy will lose his hand. They cannot see in front of their face. They rely on all these little black dots to tell them what's going on. So, if you think you're brave enough, you can do the trick. You touch it. It'll react. That's how that's done. There is no, oh, oh, you almost got me. They simply rely on the touch. It is a reaction. Keep on. There you go. Tommy. Now, before he goes back, now you'll notice when I stood up, they both backed off. Because at this point, I tower over them. I'm going to try to call them back over to me. They feed off of each other, so you'll notice he kind of veered away because Tommy was creeping away. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, guys. 